Hey guys, we're out and about here today. We are actually here in Littleton, Colorado. In fact, we are at the intersection of Wads and Bowls. And uh, just wanted to let you guys know we were invited to a soft opening for Longhorn Steakhouse here in Littleton. So uh, I will say this, that Longhorn is not paying us to actually do this video, but they are providing the meal and non-alcoholic drinks for the soft opening. Um, kind of feel like a little bit of a celebrity status right now. Uh, we've never been invited to a soft opening for anything ever. Uh, and it's been quite a few years since we've actually had Longhorn Steakhouse. So uh, we're gonna give you guys our honest opinion of what we think of the meal, what we think of the inside. But I uh, just wanted to get it started by letting you guys know what we're doing here today. So come along, enjoy, and we'll see you guys in just a bit. All right, so we're coming uh, around the parking lot, and uh, this is actually the front entrance. Wow, it's a pretty big place. Thank you. All right, guys, so this is the actual gluten free menu here at Longhorn Steakhouse. So far, I'm very impressed that they would actually go to this degree of what would you say? Fanciness. This degree of fanciness, because usually the gluten-free menu is one page, printed out, it's really super dinky, but this is not, so I'm really happy. Several, several, several pages of it. What I love about it is it does also mark off which allergy. And it does the soy, which gets me on so many things that it's not really gluten-free because so it the soy. Exactly, so it really, it goes into depth um, I've never seen anything like this at any other restaurant. And then here is the non-gluten-free menu, just the regular menu. Several good things. And they can also make some of these items actually gluten-free. Um, in fact, uh, the family, we are getting the white cheddar stuffed mushrooms. And so they are actually taking the breadcrumbs off of that, or they are not gonna be putting the breadcrumbs on that. So that way we can have it gluten free. The other thing that we just found out is that all of the proceeds for the alcohol beverages, because that is not provided in our meal today, uh, is actually going to be, uh, all the proceeds are going to the local Boys and Girls Club. I thought that was just incredible. So Liz and I are getting a drink. I think that'll be really neat that it's gonna support that. And we are sitting right next to the bar area, just to kind of give you guys a shot of that. Very, very, very nice setup for sure. The where? Hi, it's Morgan. So on the back wall, they have like a whole bunch of like belt buckles, which is really cool. It's also really Texan. So, a little bit of home. Then they have a big mural of wood that's painted to represent the South. One of the other neat things here are the actual branding. And they're using this for decoration, which is really cool. And this is something that I really wanted to show you guys is the American flag done out of the old license plates. This is super cool. It really just feels like home. And with all the decor, and having lived in Texas for quite a while, it just feels like a hometown restaurant. So Morgan is doing the half rack baby back ribs. I'm doing the outlaw ribeye, and Liz is doing the flakes fillet. All right, so here are the mushrooms, the cheddar, stuffed mushrooms 
along with complimentary bread service. And then here is the old fashioned. And it is using Knob Creek Whiskey bourbon that is specially made for Longhorn Steakhouse, we were told. And I just love the little spoon on this. Look at this. Just really nice. And then, of course, Liz's wine. And Morgan decided to go with tried and true Coca-Cola, which, again, the soft drinks... All of the non-alcoholic drinks today are complimentary and included with the meal. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try to do this one-handed here. See how it goes. We were also told as another delicious appetizer is to go ahead and actually take the cheese that's left over in the plate and put it on the bread. So I'm definitely gonna try that, but here, let's give this, let's give this a whirl. All right, so here we go, cheers. That is really good, the cheese really does, the cheese really does pop on that. Okay, so here these are gluten-free, obviously for me, but the white cheddar and the Parmesan cheese is just to die for. Um, to give you one more big hoorah, how about good these mushrooms are. Little Miss Morgan does not like mushrooms and she's about to take half of this from me. So, two thumbs up and a snack. All right, so we were just given fried pickles. So uh, they just, they had extra, so they brought them over to us. So we're gonna try that out, but I wanted you to see it here real quick before we did. Look at that, they are just nice and golden brown. Gonna be crispy. Oh, that's hot. All right, let's see here. Let's take a taste. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Is it good? It is so awesome. So here is my salad that comes with my dinner. It got ranch dressing on it, the house salad. This is the Caesar side, this is, the, sorry, this is the Caesar salad, no crouton, so it is gluten-free. And then Morgan's Caesar salad with the croutons. Okay, so usually I hate mushrooms on anything and anything, but the stuffed mushrooms are to die for. Like, the cheese complements it. It's, it's a little bit rich for some people's liking, but it goes, it works. So here is the old fashioned, and I've already had a taste of it. It is absolutely incredible. Um, they actually use a um, dirty cherry, is what they're calling it. Um, kind of reminds me of a Bordeaux cherry a little bit, but then they also put a little extra, what they say is dirty cherry juice inside the drink as well, just to kind of give it a little bit sweeter, a sweeter flavor. Uh, it is really, really good. I highly recommend it. All of the proceeds from the purchase of all their alcoholic beverages are going to the local Boys and Girls Club. So guys, here is the bread that I've just had a bite of. And that is how it comes served. And I gotta tell you, I'm not very impressed with the bread. It's not that it's dry or anything, it's just very plain Jane wheat bread. You know, I would expect something maybe like a honey wheat or maybe some kind of uh, you know, flavored butter, but it, you know, it was, uh, it was okay. Right, guys, we are gonna start off with Morgan's half rack of baby back ribs. And beautiful looking potatoes. That is nice, nice and glistening. This looks delicious. And then this is Liz's closed filet with the sweet potato. Look at that nice thick cut filet. Very good. And then I had the sweet potato as well with the outlaw ribeye, which is the bone in 18 ounce. That is gorgeous. Look at the cook on that. That is, or the sear on that, rather. Now let's take a look at the cook. All right. Let's take a look. That, that is, that is medium rare, guys. Look at that. They got it right. 
I tell you, very, very, very nice. And look at the cook on the filet. Very, very beautiful, medium rare. All right, so how does the sweet potato taste? I am, I am not... I'm gonna do both together. Oh wow, doing both together. Now Morgan is stirring up her potato over there, and we'll come back to her. Let's let's take a bite of the let's take a bite of the outlaw ribeye here and see what we think. All right, guys. So here we go. Cheers. Wow. That is absolutely delicious. Not only is it cooked perfectly, but the flavor is just out of this world. So I highly, highly recommend the Outlaw Ribeye to you guys for sure. So Liz and I do have one complaint, and that is the, I would say the overuse of the butter that just kind of oozes all around the plate. Here's her plate with the filet. Um, I can't get away from it. Very tasty, but just a little bit too much. So there's there's probably not a whole lot of uh, complaints or critiques about this, but that would definitely be one of the critiques that we would have. Here goes Morgan with this first bite of the baby back ribs. Morgan, what do we think? So good. So good. Wow. Okay. And Morgan definitely is a rib lover for sure. So. It just falls on the bun. And it does come with, uh, is that a little extra side of barbecue sauce? Is that correct? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Nice. And it, she says it falls right off the bone. Nice. I love you. Alright guys, so here is the total of our meal. This does not include the alcohol. And then of course that is the total price, including the tax. Now again, as I said earlier, this entire meal was comped for the soft opening of this Longhorn Steakhouse. This is our alcohol check. And again, all the proceeds of the alcohol are going to the local Boys and Girls Club. So really for a couple of uh, adult beverages and the meal, just over a hundred bucks, so you know, about a uh, hundred and ten dollars. Plus tip. All in all, we definitely got our money's worth out of this. If we were to have to actually pay for three people to eat here, I will say that it was worth it. And what you guys don't see is we are getting a complimentary molten chocolate lava cake on the side of ice cream. The ice cream is gluten free. So we'll let you know how that is. Well guys, here is the molten chocolate lava cake side of gluten-free ice cream. Unfortunately, Liz will not be able to partake in this and I've got to just get a picture of this. That is absolutely gorgeous. So, here we go. Let's see how the ice cream is by itself. It's a really good vanilla bean ice cream. Oh, vanilla bean, nice, okay. Morgan, I gotta know. I'm gonna let you take the first bite. I'm gonna let you break into this, and I'm actually gonna come over on your side. I'm gonna come over here with Morgan, so this way we can see 
the love. Oh wow, look at that. That is pretty. Alright kiddo, what do we think? That says it all right there. Moist and amazing. Look at that face. Wow. My turn. All right, guys. Cheers. Here we go. I got a little bit of both. Wow. I'm going to put you guys down. I'm going to eat this thing. All I got was one bite. Why do you do this to me, Morgan? All right, guys, so we had a great time here. Excellent time. Liz and I were just saying how really good this whole experience was. Um, we will be coming back for sure. Glad that you guys got to come along with us. And until next time, get out there, have some fun. We'll see you on the flip side.